I am Bhuvan Dwee Pute. Today we are going to learn a civic education lesson on democratic governments. Let's do some activities and understand what democracy is. This is competency 9.3. We need to know about democracy to be a good citizen in this society. Therefore, we need to know what democracy is and the features of democratic governance. Okay, let's study these pictures. See, what are they doing? What is the reason and how do they do it? Just think. In the first picture, there are a lot of people. They are shouting. Maybe they are protesting. Maybe asking a solution for a problem. However, they do it using their own freedom. In the second picture, the person is drawing and writing something. Here he, he is expressing his own views or ideas. He is independent. There is none to guide him. He is enjoying his freedom. In this last picture, it is our right to vote and elect the representatives to lead the country or our authorities. Here, people get decisions and behave enjoying their freedom. Let's study some more situations like this. If you understood, people can protest, criticize, write against or for and vote as they wish. Activity 2 You may have faced or will be faced these situations. Number 1. Selecting a class leader. How do you prefer? Nominated by a class teacher or through your votes? You can write your answer and give your reasons too. You can take 2-3 minutes. Number 2. Selecting officials for the Village Welfare Society or we say Subhasadaka Samiti. Is there a committee to nominate the officers or the villagers do it? How do you prefer? You can write your answer with the reasons. Right. Question situation number three. In your school, how do you select the chairperson, secretaries and the treasurers and other members for your associations? Can you remember your English Literary Association? your single literary association or maybe your uh, sports club who has the right to select them why is it yes you can write your reasons too the last situation think of the way we select members of parliament what do we do to select them? Yes, you can write reasons too. Okay, I would like to show my ideas with you. You can compare your ideas and discuss with your friends and your teachers. Situation 1. When selecting a class leader, sometimes our teachers nominate using certain criteria. But what we like is to select a leader through class members' willingness. Why? We like the leader and we, ob we obey the leader if we select what we want the second situation is village welfare society they are also the members nominate the officers names and they elect we say why 
it is easy to negotiate and get decisions where when all the members can agree not only that how do we select officials for our school associations we get that responsibility and we select the members we want even in our election we elect the candidates and select as the representatives of our elector electorates as the uh, member of parliament so do you think it is good yes why is it good Okay, according to your understanding, you can do this activity 3, match the images to make the sentences meaningful. Best way to get decisions is, why, then it gives the power, yes, it's easy for you to do the activity. Yes, let's see the answers. Best way to get decision is by the people and for the people. Why? We need freedom. We do not like to be bound by some other people or their rules. Then, such situations in the society use the power to the people. Yes, power to the people. I think it is easy for you to understand what democracy or Praja Tantra Vada is. In Sinhala, Praja means the people. Tantra means administration. Vada means theory. Therefore, Praja Tantra Vada stands for the theory of administration done by the people. The English word democracy was originated in Greek. It's a Greek word as democratia. Demos means the people. Kratia means power or rule. Here is the definitions given by Abraham Lincoln the 16th president of USA, United States of America. You can compare your answers with the definition. See whether your answers are similar to, your, to the given definition. You can find more examples where people get power and how do they use that power by themselves for their own benefits. You can refer your textbook Two. Here, according to Abraham Lincoln, democracy is the government of the people, by the people, for the people. Okay, so far we have done several activities to understand what democracy is. So, let's write a description on democracy. You can explain the importance of democracy as a governing system. When leading our lives also, we need democracy. Not only that, when fulfilling our duties and enjoying our rights, democracy is very important. Therefore, we need to respect others, their views and equity too. You can compare your ideas with the given ideas too. Your elders or teachers will help you to get them corrected. Shall we read the ideas? Importance as a governing system. Where people, all the people are treated equally and guide them for the sustainable development. When we lead our lives, lives as a lifestyle, it 
We can maintain the peace and harmony among the people and we can control conflicts. When we fulfill the duties and enjoying rights, we have to tolerate different views and also we have to respect others and also to enrich peace and harmony in the country. We need to respect others' views. When taking decisions, also we need to respect others' views and respect equity too. All these together, we can establish a powerful, stable community, society where all the people are satisfied with peace and harmony and their human rights. The last activity is to summarize the lesson. There are six words that we can use to explain democracy. First, arrange them according to the importance. The words are rights, politics, majority, people, voting, power. So you can arrange these words according to the importance of each word to explain democracy. Then write two sentences using the selected words, then you can explain democracy in a meaningful way. Hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Thank you very much.